Bradley Manning was sentenced to 35 years in prison, and that's on charges of espionage. Now, another piece of news is that uh, Manning could be eligible for parole in about eight years. Now, of course, we did a story on that earlier this week, or I should say I did, but there have some, been some new developments. Now, Bradley Manning has actually put out a statement to President Obama asking for his sentence to be commuted. And in this statement, uh, Manning kind of explains why he did what he did, and I just want to go and quote some of this statement from the Associated Press. Now, he said, and this is Bradley, quote, I was not, it was not until I was in Iraq and reading secret military reports on a daily basis that I started to question the morality of what we were doing. It was at this time I realized that in our efforts to meet the risk posed to us by the enemy, we have forgotten our humanity. We consciously elected to devalue human life in both Iraq and Afghanistan. When we engaged those that we perceived were the enemy, we sometimes killed innocent civilians. And of course he's referring to that Apache helicopter video named Collateral Damage, where uh, Apache crews were shooting at civilians and had actually killed two Reuters journalists. And Manning continues, Whenever we killed innocent civilians, instead of accepting responsibility for our conduct, we elected to hide behind the veil of national security and classified information in order to avoid any public accountability. Exactly, because if you remember, Bradley Manning had went to his superior officers. He went up the chain of command and was told, we don't care. Yeah, this seems to be a pattern that they, that they exactly what he says, that they use the, the classified uh, uh, word to protect themselves every time that they screw up. In other words, as soon as they make a mistake, suddenly it's classified information. Right. It's just like our, how our drone strikes have killed children and many innocent civilians, and yet they can go out there and say, no, 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 our drone strikes are precision strikes. Right, if they precision. Were, if, they, if they were really doing what they should be doing, if they were really protecting anyone, if they were really doing what, what was deemed good and moral and right, um, if they were really destroying an enemy, then they wouldn't be as covert and, and, and secretive as they are. They, they would be more transparent to the American people about what they're doing. Right, but you know that um, this government doesn't run on transparency anymore. No. Uh, and Bradley and Manning says a few more things. He said, quote, We held individuals at Guantanamo for years without due process. Absolutely true. We inexplicably turned a blind eye to torture and executions by the Iraqi government, and we stomached countless other acts in the name of our war on terror. Patriotism is often the cry extolled when morally questionable acts are advocated by those in power. As the late Howard Zinn once said, there is not a flag large enough to cover the shame of killing innocent people. Now, does this sound like a statement from a man who wanted, who, who was a traitor? Does this sound like a statement for somebody who had the interests of the American people in mind? Yeah, no, he is not a traitor. He is, he is a whistleblower. He did what he's supposed to do. He exposed uh, unlawfulness on the part of the American government, um, which are crimes against the American people. That's what he exposed, and that's what he's being punished for. And even the American people, even some liberals, have been fooled into believing that he is an enemy, a traitor, someone who helped his enemies by revealing what he did. It's not only not that, true. but during his, during his trial, he was cast as somebody who didn't know what he was doing, who was confused, who didn't know that what he would do would cause harm. And, of course, they couldn't prove that any of his actions caused any kind of harm to the United States or any of our military, uh, any of our CIA agents. There's been no proof that any of the statements that he released harmed any, any of our uh, interests except for embarrassing the state, embarrassing the administration. Right. That's exactly why he needed to be punished, because they can't stand to be embarrassed by 
you know, someone telling the truth. And that's why pro probably Obama is not going to show him any right. real compassion or mercy on this because he made him look like a fool. No, not only that, but even uh, um, his defense painted him as a, you know, a, a confused person with gender identity issues. And we're going to go into that in just a few minutes here uh, about the latest developments in the uh, Bradley Manning saga. But I want to give his final, uh, his final quote on the, uh, uh, from the statement. And he says, quote, I will serve my time knowing that sometimes you have to pay a heavy price to live in a free society. I will gladly pay that price if it means we could have a country that is truly conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all women and men are created equal. And that's, of course, he, he had prefaced that by saying, if I, if I do not get my sentence commuted. Because, like I said, this is to president, uh, being sent to President Obama to see if that he can get basically set free. Now, I don't exactly think that that's going to happen. Probably not, unfortunately. It should because happen. Remember, this is the administration that pushed for no less than 60 years in jail, in prison. Right. And Denise Lind, who, by the way, after the trial, she got promoted. She had um, sentenced him to 35 years, took his 112 days of jail where he was tortured, What you know, took that off of his sentence... But nonetheless, you know. She, yeah, that's not very much. No, that's not very much. Thirty-five years. But of course, he could be out in eight years. That would be good. Um, he better. should be out now. Yes, he should be out now. But eight years would be better. And he's forever right. going to be a martyr. That's all they're doing. That's all they're accomplishing by by sentencing him to eight years or 35 years they're creating a martyr of him and he's going to go down in history and he's never going to be forgotten and he's going to be hailed a hero in the future guarantee he won't be remembered by history as a traitor well she, she. and I'm getting into that right now so David Coons is uh, Manning's attorney and he announced recently that Bradley wished to be called Chelsea and addressed with the female pronoun. Coom said that Manning was seeking hormone therapy and not a sex change operation. So now Bradley Manning will be known as Chelsea Manning. And part of, uh, part of Chelsea's statement says, quote, as I transition into this next phase of my life, I want everyone to know the real me. I am Chelsea Manning. I am a female. Given the way that I feel and have felt since childhood, I want to begin hormone therapy as soon as possible. I hope that you will support me in this transition. Now, how I feel? How do I feel about this? I don't. I don't really care. Manning's actions speak for himself or herself. In the fact that what she did was the right thing to do, it was the just thing to do. And so, whether it's a guy or a girl or in between, it doesn't really matter because those actions taken are not invalidated by the type of gender he or she chooses. I agree. Um, hearing about this was a little strange at first. I wasn't sure if I believed it until I saw it um, in the Huffington Post. and that, that, That's when I thought, oh, well, it's not, uh, it's not a joke. Well, it's um, not the onion. No. It's not an onion piece. It, it, um, it surprised me a little bit at first. Like I said, I didn't know it was real, but it doesn't change the way I feel about anything. It's it's very close to being absolutely irrelevant in every sense of right. the word. It doesn't it's, change what she did, what she is, um, and good for her, you know, if she's that in touch with herself to know that that's what she wants. And hopefully she'll get out in eight years or less and be able to live her life as a free woman. I, I worry about what her life will be in prison, though. Is she going to be in a male prison? Is oh, exactly. Gonna she's going to really be really tough. She's going to be in the Fort Leavenworth prison. And, of course, they have made it abundantly clear that they will not be providing the required hormonal treatment other than psychiatric support. So they're not, you know, they, there's... You could call it a little bit of a controversy of whether or not the prison should, 
you know, uh, supply that hormonal treatment or not. Um, and, and it's a very good argument. Do you want your, your tax dollars to go to that or not? Um, and we, we could have that debate if you so choose. Sure. But Manning continues, I also request that starting today, you refer to me by my new name and use the feminine pronoun, except an official mail to the confinement facility. I look forward to receiving letters from supporters and having the opportunity to write back. And now, of course, his lawyer, David Coombs, has been very, very, very supportive. He said on Thursday that he is hoping that Fort Leavenworth would do the right thing and provide hormone therapy. Quote, if Fort Leavenworth does not, then I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that they are forced to do so. Now, it cannot be an easy experience to go, you know, through... Um, to go to prison as a transgendered woman. That would be rather nightmarish, in my opinion. But it's also nightmarish to be in a body that makes you uncomfortable. And mm -hmm. I wouldn't consider it completely unreasonable to expect the prison to supply the hormone therapy. Mm -hmm. um, I certainly am just not for being so petty about where tax dollars go, because our tax go dollars go to billions and billions of dollars go to oil subsidies and big corporate subsidies and defense contractors and a defense budget that's, that's bigger than the next 27 countries combined. So giving, you know, a woman some hormone therapy so she can actually feel good about herself and her body and feel comfortable with herself, I have no issue with that at all. Do you actually see this as, and because I kind of worry about people dropping public support, of Chelsea Manning because of this decision. Do you think that, I mean, do you think that's possible that she'll lose support? Or, she'll, or will she gain that. support from the LGBT community? Now, we already knew Bradley Manning was gay. And of course, when, you know, she becomes a full woman, she technically won't be gay anymore. Well, she'll still be part of the LGBT community. She'll oh, be absolutely. transgendered, which is the T. Yeah, I think she might gain a few followers from there, but I think for the most part, people that were on her side before aren't going to leave her and not support her because of this, because I figure that most of the people that were supporting her before are relatively, relatively liberal. I have yet to talk to or meet a whole bunch of conservatives that don't think that she's a traitor. Well, most likely a lot of conservatives um, are most likely against. Now, you get into the libertarians, that's a different story. They are conservative on many issues, but they're very liberal on social issues, and of course, a lot of them are very um, very supportive of whistleblowers, which is, which is a really good thing. And so I just want to, I guess, end this segment uh, by saying, you know, good on Chelsea Manning. That doesn't change how we feel about you. You're still a, you're a hero and always will be to us and to the idea of a transparent government. 